What's up VC, this is Brad from H2 Vinyl. This is a contest video for Hannah's channel. Uh, she reached 500 subs. Her channel is The Omaha Introvert. Uh, Hannah, uh, I'm relatively new to your channel. I think I've been watching for about five or six weeks now. Uh, congratulations, uh, 500 subs. I forgot to take a look at what you, when your channel started. I believe you said that you made soap beforehand and uh, we're, we're really glad that you joined the vinyl community. Um, I know I, yeah, I probably wouldn't be watching your videos if you were making soap. Um, but I do watch your videos because of vinyl. So uh, yeah, great to meet you. And Bato is decided, my cat who was laying next to me has decided to um, go away. Anyway, uh, try to get my uh, other cat, his uh, sister Videl on camera. I, I kid you not, like I, I, I told her that, um, hey girl, can I borrow you for a second? And um, she ran under the bed. I don't understand that at all. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so congratulations on the 500 subs. Um, uh, I was going to say before Bato interrupted me, or I interrupted myself, uh, that uh, I know you've, you've been making videos for probably three or four months, I believe. And uh, to elevate to 500 as quickly as you do, congrats, you did, congratulations. And um, so uh, Hannah had five or four questions for us, um, and then a fifth bonus question. And the first one is, uh, where do you live? Um, I live in Orlando, Florida. Um, technically, it's Orange County. I don't live in proper Orlando. Um, I live. 20 minutes away from the airport. There's a jet flying overhead. I remember, I've, I've watched two videos. I've watched uh, Brandon's and I've watched Jeff, Jeff Kempen. Jeff, you mentioned um, that you live, you work uh, five minutes from the airport in Chicago. Well, I live 15 to 20 minutes from the airport in Orlando. Um, I have the worst <laughs> of those two scenarios. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I've lived here, um, since 2004, um, moved here for a job, um, after school and, uh, lived in this place specifically, um, for about 10 years. Um, so yeah, uh, number two, uh, music on vinyl that, um, really pops for you. Um, I, uh, had difficulty thinking of this, um. I'm, my collection and, and my listening habits don't point to classic albums, like classic rock. Um, so those uh, big name albums like uh, uh, Dark Side of the Moon or The Wall or um, any, you know, insert Rolling Stones like Let It Bleed, um, any of those albums, they just don't come to mind. Um, and so I... Try to think of something and I'm not, I don't have a, I, I just started a few years ago collecting vinyl and so I don't have a, a big audiophile um, uh, catalog uh, in my collection. I have a few MoFi. I have quite a few uh, music on vinyl. I'm really impressed with music on, on vinyl. So I've chosen one of those um, and this is an album that I do not own on CD but I listened to it um, through uh, streaming and um, didn't necessarily care for this album all that much, um, but because I love the artist so much that I, I bought the, the, the album on vinyl uh, through uh, music on vinyl. And uh, after listening to it, uh, fell in love with the music all the more. Um, and this is Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Lullabies to Paralyze. And, um, yeah, this, the quality that uh, Music on Vinyl does for all of the pressings um, is top notch. They uh, use a process called, uh, it's either DDM or DMM, and that is uh, direct, um, direct to metal, uh, DMM, it's direct to metal mastering. Um, so they cut uh, some of those steps out of uh, the traditional way of, of pressing uh, vinyl um, and some don't like it um, I personally think that they do a very good job with it and the quality is there um, 
plus uh, Queens of the Stone Age, I think, really pops on vinyl. Um, the, uh, this is just a, a great package uh, completely. Sometimes they, uh, music on vinyl, uh, their uh, covers are a little questionable. They don't do a gatefold instead of, um, they just do a regular instead of a gatefold. But this is a nice gatefold with uh, a two album, only three sides. The, the fourth side, side is etched. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Lullabies to Paralyze, definitely uh, something that popped to me um, after I heard it streaming. And the album was good, but it just didn't grab me like, like the vinyl did. So that is my answer to the second question. Some of these questions I may have um, mixed up. Uh, it's question two and question three. I didn't know which came in which order, but I figure that doesn't matter. Um, the third question that I have written down, um, music that I can't stand, that I just, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to hear it. Um, I always get nervous when I start talking about stuff I don't like. Um, here we go. Um, I am not a fan of the uh, rock and roll era of the 50s and quite possibly early 60s. We're talking um, Beach Boys. We're talking Elvis. Um, anything that just that that the beginning portions of, of rock and roll, I I, I just I, I don't want. That doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like rock and roll. I love rock. Um, and I, it's not that I don't like rock and roll because there are some surgeons of rock and roll uh, now with like uh, Eagles of Death Metal. Um, they bring the rock back, the roll back into the rock. Um, and, uh, I love them to death. Um, but it's, it's, I think it all has to do with me playing Elvis and the Beach Boys a lot, you know, when I grew up and, um, I kind of just grew out of that and overplayed it when I was a kid. And so I, I really have no desire to hear Elvis, to hear Beach Boys and, um, early rock and roll. So that's me. Um, the next one, this is, this one's fun, uh, five psych albums. I do not have a, um, huge list of psych albums. Um, I think of Flipside CT, um, and, uh, Dots and Loops. Um, who else? Uh, uh, Memphis Jim and the Misses. uh, who else? That's that's all I can think of right at, right of right about now. But um, those channels uh, do a, a much better job at psych than I do. Um, until I started looking through, I, I was planning on doing another genre, but I started looking through my collection and um, decided to do a little bit of a spin on this one. Um, and that spin is, and I would mate this criteria. I've decided that I'm going to show uh, four. I was planning on showing all five, but um, one of the albums I want to do a reveal in another video, and so I don't want to talk about it here. But I was, gonna, I was planning on doing five albums for Psych that have been released within the last uh, 10, 15 years, because Psych is making a resurgence. And um, almost got there, almost got there. But like I said, one of them I didn't want to talk about, um, and I'll talk about it in another video um, shortly, sometime this month. And so I'm, I'm doing four with a classic uh, mention as well. So the first one, uh, right off the bat, is Foyagzoid. I've talked about this group before. Um, I learned about this group from Vinyl Collector James. I think he had a video that he made either 2014, 2015, um, I think the video was something called Bands That You Have To Need, you, you, you Don't Know Of But You Need To Know Of. And um, this is a Chilean psych band um, from Chile. And uh, they have almost like a droning aspect to their music. And uh, this is their second, uh, third album uh, released in 2015. Um, Absolutely, this entire thing is, is great. 
I uh, don't know what song I'm going to play. Um, all of these, I'm, I don't know what really song. Uh, one of them, I know what song. Um, but I'm going to do a needle drop on all of these five. And uh, here is a needle drop from Foyoxoid's third album called Three. The next Psych album I would like to mention was released last year, and I cannot talk about these gr this group enough. I feel like I mention them all the time, but this is quite possibly my ap absolute favorite album by them, and this would probably rank up maybe even in my top 25 albums. Um, this is The OCs. I learned about this group from Joe L. I think he's changed his channel name to Joe Low or J Low. I'm not 100% certain. It's been a while since I've looked at his channel. Um, the OCs, uh, I, I got down here, garage rock, psych rock, indie rock, and kind of California rock as well. Um, some Maybe some prog in there too. Uh, kind of difficult to um, uh, determine. Uh, the names of genres, but uh, they're, this is their, uh, I, I don't know what number of album they release. Gosh, I think two years ago they had three or four albums released in one year. Um, last year, I think they had two or three. Um, they've been around for about, a, I want to say about six or seven years now, and they have probably 15 some albums out. And um, this is Orc. Uh, they go, they've also done uh, name changes. I know them by the OCs. Here they're called OCs. And they used to be O and the letter C, O-C as well. Um, and then O, the OCs with just O and C as letters. All confusing. Um, this is an outstanding album. I can't give it high enough praise. Um, I think uh, Vinyl Rewind um, reviewed this album uh, about a month, maybe two months ago. And I remember commenting to him that as he was playing little snippets of it, I, I, I just commented, I'm like, and your little snippets just make me want to listen to the whole entire album. And he replied back saying, uh, yeah, I'd get in trouble if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I do know what song I will be playing off of this, and that is uh, Keys to the Castle. Uh, there's, I'll, I'll probably begin where there's like a little bit of droning, and then it, it gets uh, kind of mellow um, after that kind of buzz droning going on. Um, that doesn't give a full depiction of what this uh, album is like. Because a lot of the times, well, that song I'm thinking of, that portion I'm thinking of is mellow. Um, there's a lot of quickness. Um, uh, John Dwyer, uh, lead vocalist and lead guitar uh, of the OCs, is highly underrated um, and uh, just incredible. To, to it. I would highly recommend um, going on uh, YouTube and, I mean, you're already there, you're watching this and typing in KEXP, which is a radio station in Seattle, and type in The OCs, and you'll watch their live show of them, and they completely animated, and they, they just love the music that they play. And so that is um, the OCs. I've already put it down, but let's do a needle drop of it. This is Keys to the Castle by The OCs.
Psych album is uh, something that I learned of uh, recently. Uh, the, the one that I didn't want to reveal. Um, I've told this story before on my channel. Uh, I was watching YouTube videos with a friend and I talked about that one band and we watched some, um, some videos of that one band that I won't mention here. And then um, he mentioned, hey, this reminds me of this group. And that is uh, the ghost of the Sabertooth Tiger, also known as the ghost. Um, this is psych rock through and through. Um, John Lennon of the Beatles, uh, his son is lead of this, uh, Sean Lennon. And I played, I, I recently uh, did a video on this. Um, i trying to remember what song I played. Um, mm, I don't remember, Off to a Flame. Who knows? Golden earrings? I don't know. Anyway, um, I uh, I know what song I'll play on this one. Um, it's on uh, Split um, uh, Blue and Baby Blue Vinyl, Dark Blue with kind of like a splatter going on there. Um, this whole album is incredible. Uh, but I will be playing the song Xanadu uh, by the ghost of a saber-toothed tiger. Four uh, takes us to classic psych rock, and this one I learned um, from Memphis Jim and the Misses uh, from one of his uh, videos, and that is uh, Frigid Pink. Um, I remember him showing this album. I think they were going through all of the psych rock in their collection and just going through everything that they had on Psych in a couple of videos. Um, it, that's true, you should, you should check that video out. I, it's been a while since I've watched it. But um, I found this in the wild. Uh, I listened to it, um, remember commenting on his video saying, wow, I really like it. Um, never heard of Frigid Pink before. And, um, and then when I found it in the wild, I found another one as well. So I played some stuff off of um, the first one uh, the pink one, and so I've decided to uh, play some off of this time, this one this time. So the one thing I love about this, I, I think the store that I, I, I got it at, um, they had a UK pressing, but on the, the actual, let's see if I can, it has kind of a spiral label, which I love. And this is, that was only on the American pressing. And there's the jet. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm um, going to play a song from a Frigid Pink. This is uh, Defrosted, uh, their album Defrosted. And here is that song. We'll show And the fifth will be another one that's um, actually all of these except for Frigid Pink uh, was uh, in the last, well, since 2010 actually. Uh, this is uh, a group that I speak a lot about, um, absolutely love all of their music and um, have actually all of their albums on vinyl. Uh, some of them get pretty pricey. What did I pay for this one? Yeah, I paid a, no, actually I paid, paid 50 bucks for this, um, which could get pretty pricey if you, especially if you don't know the artist. Um, but I definitely uh, would recommend um, Mars Volta. Um, this is their 2012 album, where it stands in the lineup. I know they have um, 
deloused, I believe that was either 2002 or 2003, then they had um, uh, Francis the Mute, which was 20, in 2005, um, they had one after that, then this, so I think this is their fourth album, I definitely could be wrong, um, I want to say, is this, no, of course I could have done all of this beforehand, uh, I thought this might have been Music on Vinyl, but their first albums had a Music on Vinyl release. Um, this copy is uh, limited to 3,500, um, and uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce uh, the name of their, this album. Um, it's like Noctural Quit. Uh, um, epic failing on this portion, but the uh, vinyl is uh, kind of a yellow with square labels. And then the second album, or record, LP, is uh, blue with, again, square labels. I chose this album. Um, they're kind of a, they're, they're prog rock, they're psychedelic. They have, they have elements of psychedelic splattered throughout all of their albums. Um, they're kind of indie rock, they're experimental. Um, I, I think I picked this one just because uh, I don't see this one getting the love that it deserves. All of their albums, I feel like they need to get equal love. They're all excellent. And um, uh, the Mars Volta is a, the lead singer, lead guitar is Omar uh, Rodriguez Lopez. Um, he is a very, very, very busy man in the uh in the music industry and uh, yeah I, I i would count it hard pressed to find everything that he does um but he is he's absolutely incredible mars volta has this odd sound about it um and like i said they do have psychedelic emic elements within their music and i don't know what song i'm going to be playing as hard as it was to pick out um, this album uh, among their others to, to showcase in this um, it's equally as tough to pick a song but I'm going to pick one song here is uh, that song by the Mars Volta All right, so those are the five psych albums that I recommend um, you listen to, Anna. Um, there is a bonus question, um, and that is to show a cover of an album that has a cat on the front, or somewhere on the cover. Well, this was the thing that came to mind immediately, and I hope this isn't cheating. And I'm actually going to show a few more. Um, I was going to show Videl as well, but she still hasn't come out from underneath the bed. Uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller. Uh, this is my mom's copy. Uh, I took it when, uh, when I went to college. She had two copies. I think I took the better one. Um, yeah, she. this is an original copy. Uh, 1982 on uh, the Epic label. Um, it is probably no surprise that there is a tiger um, in the gatefold of this album. Uh, this was kind of one of those, since it came to my mind so quickly, and I'm like, hmm, I kind of wish I would come up with something more, but I didn't. Um, until I uh, got to thinking, and I, I'm not going to go. Um, I got to thinking that, uh, um, what are other things that the people might not show? So I've got two more. Um, this would be bending the rules though, because technically it's not on the cover anywhere. 
Um, this is Royal Blood's latest album. Um, how did how did we get so dark? Um, if you haven't heard Royal Blood, they're really great. Um, the hard rock, kind of a blues rock, really blues rock, and alternative. Um, I think I wrote down blues rock just because Discog said. Um, but there's nothing on the cover, but there is something on the label, and man, I think that they would they would do very well if they were to put this cover, this, make this as cover art on one of their albums. They have this uh, picture on the drum set, of the, on the bass drum, and here it is. It is a tiger with six eyes. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. A tiger with six eyes, and that, that you, you, can, you can think of a black drum with white, kind of a silvery gray, and as the kick drum hits, that thing just pops out a little. Oh, so good. Um, another great band um, that I would highly recommend. I saw them live in Detroit with Queens of the Stone Age. Fell in love with their music there. They're actually coming to Orlando June 9th. Um, and uh, I've got tickets. Uh, my, uh, my, the church that I work for, um, we, used to, uh, we used to have one of our campuses at what's called the Plaza. And they're actually playing at the Plaza on June 9th. So... Looking forward to seeing them again live. And then um, this third one that I have is really breaking the rules because it's not in my collection. It's, I borrowed it from a friend. Um, but uh, the thought I'd just celebrate cats because I love cats. I have two cats. And Hannah, you should show your cats on screen um, every now and then if you haven't. Um, uh, yeah, so here is... Run the Jewels in uh, 2014, they're uh, critically acclaimed, their second album. Um, they wanted to do a charity, and so uh, they created a album called Meow the Jewels. And so this is what the album art used to, was originally on their, um, on their uh, second album, but here is what it was for the charity album. And they got, um, I think... One of the members of uh, Portishead was on this. I thought uh, Snoop Dogg was on this. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But um, my friend, <laughs> my friend left the. Uh, he he leaves his vinyl sealed. He, he's just one of those people. Um, <laughs> and so I can't demonstrate, but this is fur. That if this uh, shrink wrap wasn't on there, um, this fur would stick out, and you'd be able to. You know, pet the fur and everything. Um, I would have gotten this album uh, with my friend, but I played it on Spotify when it was released, uh, before it was released on vinyl. And um, <laughs> I kid you not, when I played it um, through my Bluetooth speaker off of my phone, um, both my cats, Bato and Videl, uh, circled me because they sample angry cats in the first song. And, uh, and I just knew that I would not, uh, like, they, they were going crazy protecting me. It was kind of, their, their uh, fur stood on end. Um, they were circling me, making sure nothing was trying to get to me. I, I don't know. I don't understand it, but I just knew that I would never be able to play that vinyl at home. So why get the vinyl if I can't play it? So I asked my friend um, yesterday to if I could borrow his copy since I was uh, meeting up with him and so he graciously agreed as long as I didn't unwrap the shrink wrap. So anyway, those are the three um, that I just thought I'd have fun with. Um, hope at least one of them made it for that bonus question. If not, okay, that's fine. Um, Hannah, again, congratulations on the 500 subs. Um, you, you're doing amazing work. You, uh, really cool to... Um, not only see your collection, but see um, your your boyfriend's collection as well. Uh, seeing the setup, the audio setup that you have, uh, hearing about the, the the kind of the digital way of of um, you sharing your music uh, throughout the the apartment or house that you are in, um, all that stuff is really interesting to me, and I, I really do enjoy your channel. Um, hope uh, you continue to grow at rocket pace and. Uh, Take care. I hope you're continuing to listen to great music, whether on vinyl 
or digital or whatever. Um, take care of all, and we will talk to you next time.